Welcome to Matthew chapter 18. This is Jim Whitaker. I'm your guest commentator for today. I want you to imagine with me. It's nine o'clock on Monday morning and Matt Daniels has just left home. He's said his goodbyes to his wife and family and he's headed off to church. As he enters the church area, he notices a bunch of cars and then he goes into the foyer and there are all of the guest commentators. They've all come together and as he enters, they ask him, Matt, which one of us has done the best job? Well, you can imagine Matt might have a little difficulty answering that question, but it's much of the same as what happened to Jesus one day. And that's the way Matthew 18 starts. The disciples came to Jesus and they asked, who is greatest in the kingdom of heaven? They perhaps envisioned this Jesus, the Messiah, setting up a God's kingdom on earth. And they wondered, what is my part going to be in that kingdom? Am I going to be a ruler or what? I imagine Jesus kind of smiling and he summons a child to come and stand in the midst of them. And he starts to tell them a little bit about the kingdom of heaven that's coming. I want to share three principles from Matthew 18 that are a part of that kingdom of heaven. There's a lot more in this chapter, a lot of significant stuff that I can't even, I don't have time to touch on today. But I want to hit three of highlights that stood out to me. The first principle I see is, uh, how do you enter God's kingdom? And Jesus said, with this child standing there before them, he said, those who enter my kingdom must come like this child. And what are the characteristics of a child? Well, hopefully, a child is submitted to their parents, just as uh, those in the kingdom of heaven need to be submitted to God. Hopefully a child is open, not demanding. I know my grandchildren can be awfully fun to be around and they can be so open and welcoming. They often have a, an honest, simple way of looking at life. And they're also uh, quite willing, even eager to serve and to be helpful. Those are the kind of people God is looking for, for his kingdom. A second principle um, for his kingdom. Well, Jesus tells a story of a shepherd. And he has a hundred sheep, but one is missing. So he leaves the 99 on the hillside and he goes searching for that one that's wandered off. I remember growing up on a dairy farm and we had a bunch of cows to milk. We had a separate pen where we would keep cows that were going to be giving birth um, in the near future. And once in a while, one of those would be missing and we wouldn't know where they were. But we would be concerned because we knew that when they gave birth, there's, there's a chance that uh, it could be, uh, they could die in that process without some help. So we would go off and search for the expectant mother cow and bring it back to safety. Well, Jesus says that his father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. And again, he's referring to this child, but I think all of those with childlike faith that are a part of his kingdom. As Jesus followers, we also need to seek out those who've gone astray and try to bring them back into the safety of his family. A third kingdom principle is to have a forgiving, merciful spirit. Peter asked Jesus, do I have to forgive seven times? Jesus said 70 times seven. Well, that doesn't mean after 400 and 90 times, you can be unforgiving on the 491st time. It implies an unlimited amount of forgiveness. 
he goes on to tell a story of the unmerciful servant. The servant went to his master and pleaded that the master would forgive him. And the master forgave all of his huge debt. Well, that same servant who had been forgiven then had his own servant and he demanded payment from them and they couldn't get it and they pleaded for forgiveness. <clears throat> but the unmerciful servant would not forgive his own servant. When the master heard of this, he took the unmerciful servant and threw him into prison. Told him he'd stay there until he could pay off his huge debt. God says to forgive your brother from your heart. When I have troubles with forgiveness, I just take a good look at myself and see the great debt that God has forgiven me. It makes it a lot easier to forgive those others who may be a wrong to me in some small way. So today there were three principles given and just kind of in summary, the three kingdom principles are humility, the key to the entrance to his kingdom, seek out the wanderer and have a forgiving, merciful spirit. Thank you. Have a good day.